Principal Alexander B. Juliano as, uh, to confer the award to our distinguished guest, the speaker. May we call on, on stage, there you go, our uh, Chief Public Attorney, Dr. Persida Birueda Acosta, with Deputy uh, P Chief Public Attorney, Silvestre Mosing. The Public Adelisa Attorney's Toriano. Office presents this Lady Justice Statuette and Certificate of Appreciation to our speaker. In deep appreciation for the invaluable support and contribution made to the Public Attorney's Office as our resource person, which lead to the success of the 5th National Convention of the Rank and File Employees of the Public Attorney's Office. On the 9th to 11th of October 2023, at the Philippine International Convention Center, given this day of October in Pasay City, Philippines, signed by Dr. Persida Virueda Acosta, DSD, Chief Public Attorney. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another awardee, the chairperson of the Commission on Audit for Outstanding Public Servant, the Honorable Gamalilia Cordoba. This Lady Justice Statuette and Certificate of Appreciation are given to our awardee in deep appreciation for the invaluable support and contribution made to the success of the Public Attorney's Office and the advancement of the interests of its clientele. Given on the occasion of the 5th National Convention of the Rank and File Employees of the Public Attorney's Office on October 9 to 11, 2023 at the Philippine International Convention Center given this day of October in Pasay City, Philippines. Signed by Dr. Persida V. Rueda Acosta, DSD, Chief Public Attorney. The Honorable Alexander B. Juliano, the Assistant Commissioner, will read the message of our awardee, Chairperson, Commission on Audit, the Honorable Gamaliel A. Cordoba. Maraming salamat po. Merong short message po si Chairman para sa inyong lahat, para sa ating lahat. Allow me to read the message of Honorable Chairperson Gamaliel Cordoba. On behalf of the Commission on Audit, I would like to express my warmest greetings to the Honorable um, First Lady Marie Louise Araneta Marcos, Mayor Emmy G. Calixto Rubia, Pag-ibig Fund CEO Marilyn C. Acosta, Chief Public Attorney Dr. Persida Rueda Acosta, Officers and Rank and File Personnel of the Public Attorney's Office, Colleagues and Fellow Public Servants, Friends and Guests, a pleasant morning to everyone. I would like to convey my congratulations firstly to Honorable Dr. Persida Rueda Acosta for being the epitome of the Public Attorney's Office and to all the praise awardees. It is an honor and privilege to be presented with the Lady Justice Statute as outstanding public servant. Justice and accountability are the cornerstone of democracy, essential in building a more equitable society and creating positive social, political, and economic climate for the people. Justice refers to the impartial and consistent application of the law with the principle that fair and just treatment are due to each person. Meanwhile, a basic definition of accountability is holding or calling an individual to account for his 
or her actions. These two principles are intertwined. The public attorney's office plays a vital role in ensuring accountability and the administration of justice. I find synergy in the functions of the Commission on Audit and the public attorney's office. Both agencies have a common mandate in upholding accountability. COA's mission is to ensure accountability for public resources, promote transparency, and help improve government operations in partnership with stakeholders for the benefit of the Filipino people. On the other hand, the public attorney's office play a bite plays a vital role in promoting accountability and justice, which are essential for building a more just and equitable society. When there is accountability, people are more likely to trust their government and other institutions. When there is justice, people are more likely to feel safe and secure. As the principal law office of the government in extending free legal assistance to indigents, the marginalized and underprivileged members of society, the PAUS work is crucial in protecting the rights of the poor and providing equal access to courts regardless of financial means. The public attorney's office contributes to safeguarding the rule of law and preserving social justice to help break the cycle of poverty and sustain economic development. The public attorney's office may also uphold the government ac accountable by representing indigent Filipinos in cases against the government, such as those involving corruption cases or violation of human rights. The Commission on Audit and the POW play complementary roles in upholding accountability and the rule of law. As the nation's supreme audit institution, the COA is responsible for putting in place structures, processes, and strategies to guarantee the effective conduct of its audit mandate and report to oversight bodies and the public on the regularity and efficiency of the use of public funds. In order to strengthen accountability in our institution, as well as in the Philippine government, the Commission enacted programs such as accounting and auditing reforms to raise the quality of our audit services and help government agencies become responsible for the accuracy and correctness of their financial statements using internationally accepted standards and best practices. Our officials' employees are held responsible for their actions as public servants and thus enjoined to adhere to high ethical standards. As public attorneys, you are also called upon to, to fulfill your mandates with utmost integrity, sincerity, and respect for the rule of law. This is how we maintain credibility and enhance the trust of the public in government. Rest assured that the Commission supports the PAU's mission to provide justice for all Filipinos and be an organization of motivated, empowered public servants committed to respond to the legal needs of indigents. Let us collaborate in modernizing our approaches and techniques and leveraging technology in order to deliver the best public service to the Filipino people. Let me end my message with words from the American lawyer, Rap Nader. A society that has more justice is a society that needs less charity. Maraming salamat at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Maraming salamat po.
Our next awardee is a Sunshine Media Network International, legally operating as a Suarezag Media Corporation, is a media network with programming that extends beyond news, encompassing a wide range of topics, including political affairs, public affairs, and public service. To remain at the forefront of the media industry, SMNI has embraced technological advancement, launching a news channel and harnessing digital terrestrial television technology. The network is also actively involved in various humanitarian projects, responding to natural disaster, providing educational support, and extending assistance to those in need. In recognition of its contribution, SMNI has received several awards, including the Best Choice Award in 2022 for being a trusted media source and outstanding in promoting peace for nation building, as well as ASEAN Excellence Achiever Award in 2021 for being the most truthful and honest broadcasting network of the year. To confer the award, may I call on our beloved Chief Public Attorney? Our awardee for Outstanding Broadcast Network, Sunshine Media Network International, to receive the award on behalf of SMNI President Dr. Marlon Rosette, SMNI Senior Anchor, Ms. Loren Santos will receive the award for Outstanding Broadcast Network. This Lady Justice Statuette and Certificate of Appreciation are given to our awardee in deep appreciation for the invaluable support and contribution made to the success of the Public Attorney's Office and the advancement of the interests of its clientele. Given on the occasion, of the 5th National Convention of the Rank-and-File Employees of the Public Attorney's Office. On October 9 to 11, 2023, at the Philippine International Convention Center, given this day of October in Pasay City, Philippines. Signed by Dr. Persida V. Rueda Acosta, DSD, Chief Public Attorney. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lorenz Santos, and I represent the president of SMNI, Dr. Marlon Rosette. I am deeply honored to accept this Outstanding Broadcasting Network Award from the Public Attorney's Office on behalf of SMNI. We are committed to upholding our mandate as a truthful, unbiased, and fair broadcaster and we remain dedicated to being the perfect partner of every Filipino in the journey of nation building. In this era of fake news, misinformation, and disinformation, the responsibility of the media takes on even greater significance. As a trusted broadcasting network, SMNI understands the crucial role we play in delivering news that matters. We are committed to thorough fact-checking, responsible reporting, and providing context to ensure our audience receives accurate and reliable information. We believe that by upholding the highest standards of journalism, we can help combat the spread of false narratives and contribute to a more informed and discerning society. Thank you once again for this award, which reinforces our dedication to this vital mission. Maraming salamat. Once again, congratulations, SMNI. Awardee for Outstanding Broadcasting Network. Palapakan po muli natin. In the meantime, we'd like to call on our uh, Pau Choir. 
and of course, uh, Pau Orchestra on stage. Uh, to sing one of uh, our chief public attorney's uh, original composition, Fighting the Good Fight. A warm of applause for our Pau Choir and Orchestra. So worthy. She is an award-winning broadcast journalist, news anchor, TV host, and radio commentator. She currently hosts several popular TV and radio programs, including Frontline Filipinas on TV5 1PH, One Balita Philippines on 1PH, Sagut Kita on 92.3 Radio Through FM, Perfect Morning on 92.3 Radio 5 News FM, Magandang Umaga Filipinas, and Salamat Doc on ABS-CBN. Throughout her career, she has received multiple awards, including the 2022 Best TV News Program host at the Philippine Management Association of the Philippines, 
10th Makatao Award for Media Excellence. She's also been recognized at the Inding Indi Short Film Festival where she received the Best News Anchor Award in 2016 and was named the Most Outstanding Broadcaster in 2015, as well as at the Gawad Tanglao in 2014, where she was honored as the Best Female News Program Anchor. Furthermore, she has received accolades from KBP Golden Dob Kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas, including the Best Female Newscaster Award in 2013. Our awardee for Outstanding Broadcaster, Ms. Cheryl Cosim, Broadcast Journalist, News Anchor, and TV Host. To confer the award, may we call on our beloved Chief Public Attorney? This Lady Justice Statuette and Certificate of Appreciation are given to our awardee in deep appreciation for the invaluable support and contribution made to the success of the Public Attorney's Office and the advancement of the interests of its clientele. Given on the occasion, of the 5th National Convention of the Rank and File Employees of the Public Attorney's Office on October 9 to 11, 2023 at the Philippine International Convention Center given this day of October in Pasay City, Philippines. Signed by Dr. Persida V. Rueda Acosta, DSD, Chief Public Attorney. Let us hear a message from Ms. Cheryl Cosim. Nahiya naman ako kay Pao Chief. Talagang inasistihan ako. Hindi po ako handa na ganito pala karami. Ang uh, nandito po ngayon, maraming maraming salamat po for this recognition. Sabi ko nga po kay Pao Chief, una ko po ito. At uh, ako po ay uh, nal naliligayahan na nasa harap po ninyo. Si Pao Chief po, I've, been, I've known her since two, three decades, wag naman three decades, two decades, ano na po, since alas 5-media days, baka yung ilan po sa inyo, estudyante pa noon, ganun na ho ako katagal sa industriya, around 27 years. At ang mga ganito pong parangal ay uh, napakahalaga po sa amin na nabibigyang uh, pagkilala ang amin pong ginagawa sa aming trabaho. At gusto ko rin pong ibalik sa inyo ang pasasalamat sa inyo pong pagbibigay serbisyo publiko sa ating bansa. Kahit na po napapag-usapan namin ni Pau Chief, pwede ba akong magkwento ng kaunti? Napapag-usapan namin ni Pau Chief, I know very limited yung budget na naiaalat po. But... Um, I hope na makita po at mas makilala at mas mabuksan ang uh, mga mata ng ating mga, uh, na, mga nasa pamahalaan ng ating uh, kongreso na kayo po ang nagiging uh, tulay ng mga kababayan natin na nangangailangan para makamit ang kanilang hustisya. And I'm hoping and we're praying <laughs> ni Pao Chief na mas madagdagan pa po kayo at syempre mas maitaas ang budget natin sa PAO. Again, marami pong salamat sa pagkilalang ito and um, kung pwede ko lang po kayong mapuntahan ni isa-isa at mapasalamatan ng personal, marami pong salamat muli. Thank you, uh, Ms. Cheryl Cosim and again, congratulations to our said awardee for Outstanding Broadcaster. Ms. Cheryl Cosim, Broadcast Journalist, News Anchor, and TV Host.
Our next awardee is the 12th Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines and a former Chairman of the Housing and Urban Development Coordinating Council. As a former Senator, he received over 16.1 million votes and emerged as a top Senator in the May 14, 2001 elections. He is renowned as the author of 252 bills and resolutions, including significant legislation such as the Expanded Senior Citizens Act of 2002, Balikbayan Law of 2002, Quarantine Act, and Newborn Screening Test Act of 2001. Currently, he anchors ABS-CBN's flagship news program, TV Patrol, and has hosted various programs such as Magandang Gabi Bayan, Tele Radio Servicio Balita on Radio 630, and KBYN, Kaagapay ng Bayan, from 2022 to the present. Throughout his career, he has received numerous citations and recognitions, as well as prestigious awards from different award-giving bodies and non-governmental organizations, including the Mass Media Award, the 7th and 9th KBP Golden Dove Awards, KBP Awards, and recognition from the Dangerous Drugs Board. He is a multi-awarded radio commentator, TV newscaster, and public affairs program host known for his fearless focused and committed approach to journalism. Ladies and gentlemen, our awardee for Outstanding Broadcaster, former Vice President Manuel Euterio Cabayan Noli de Castro, Public Affairs Program Host, Broadcaster, and News Anchor. This Lady Justice Statuette and Certificate of Appreciation are given to our awardee in deep appreciation for the invaluable support and contribution made to the success of the Public Attorney's Office and the advancement of the interests of its clientele. Given on the occasion of the 5th National Convention of the Rank and File Employees of the Public Attorney's Office. On October 9 to 11, 2023, at the Philippine International Convention Center, given this day of October in Pasay City, Philippines. Signed by Dr. Persida Virueda Acosta, DSD, Chief Public Attorney. And now, we shall hear the message of our awardee. Dr. Presida Rueda Acosta, our PAO Chief. Sa lahat po ang mga opisyal at kawanin ng PAO, ang dami pala nyo. Sa mga kasama ko po sa industriya at kapo ang mga awardees, sa lahat po ng ating mga panuhin ngayong umaga, magandang umaga, bayan ng PAO! Pwede na kayo magtayo ng isang bayan sa dami nyo. Unang-una po, nais ko lang pasalamatan si uh, Dr. Acosta at ang buong uh, Public Attorney Service sa pagkakalob sa akin po ng parangal bilang outstanding uh, uh, broadcaster. Ito pong uh, pagkilala na ito ay isang malaking karangalan para sa akin at ako po ay nagpapasalamat sa inyong tiwala. Sa tema po ng pagtitipon na kabalikat at kapangyarihan ng katarungan sa kahirapan, 
o the pillar and the power of justice against uh, poverty. Malinaw na pinakikita po ang kahalagahan ng inyong misyon bilang mga tagapaglingkod ng katarungan at bilang isa pong uh, broadcaster tulad ng iba ko pang mga kasamahang uh, broadcast journalist na nandito ngayon, naging bahagi po kami ng proseso sa pagbibigay ng boses sa mga karanasan at pangangailangan ng ating pong mga kababayan na nangangailangan po ng katarungan, naghahangad, sumisigaw ng katarungan, craving for justice. This is not the first time that I have addressed these team employees of PAO, kung natatandaan po ninyo, I have had the privilege of uh, speaking before you on uh, several occasions, even during my tenure as Vice President of the Republic. And every time, it is an honor because of my deep uh, admiration para po sa trabaho for the work that PAO does to help our marginalize ang ating pong mga kababayang mahihirap. Thank you po. Thank you. Hindi kayo nagsasawa. Ang aming pong tungkilin bilang mga broadcaster ay hindi lamang limitado sa pagbabalita na mga nagaganap po sa ating bansa, mga pangyayari. Tungkulin din po namin magbigay daan sa mga boses na hindi madalas marinig. Lalo na po ang ating mga mahihirap na mga kababayan. At bilang po tagapaghatid ng mga balita at impormasyon, kami po ang tulay na naguugnay sa kanila sa mga institusyong may tungkulin at may magagawa upang malutas ang kanilang mga problema. At sa bawat pagkakataon na ako inyong kasama, ako po ay natutuwa at nagbibigay pugay sa inyong mga tagumpay at mga sakripisyo. Ang inyong serbisyo po ay nagbibigay pag-asa at katarungan sa mga taong walang ibang matatakbuhan. Imagine ninyo, kung wala hong public attorney's office, kung walang pao, paano na sila? Saan sila tatakbo? Saan sila hihingi ng tulong para sa kanilang uh, inaasahang katarungan, di ba? Kahit ako po, malimit akong tumawag kay Atty. Presida, Atty. Meron ho ditong uh, kaso na wala naman hong abogado, pwede ho bang tulungan natin? Eh kung wala ako matatakbuhan, sino tatakbuhan ko pang iba? Meron din naman, pero siyempre, iba pag uh, lumapit tayo sa public authority service. Kaya siguro malaki ang budget nyo. Pero wala kayong... Huwag na. <laughs> Hindi po sapat ang pagbibigay ng boses lamang. Kailangan po nating tiyakin na meron pong mga mekanismo at mga institusyon na tutugon sa kanilang pangangailangan. At ito po ang kahalagahan ng Public Attorney Service. Sa pamagitan ng inyong mandato, binibigyan ninyo ng pagkakataon ng mga may hirap na makakuha ng libre na serbisyo ng abogado at makamit ang kinakailangang katarungan. Kaya dapat mataas ang sweldo ng mga abogado. Kung hindi, ha? Ano? Huwag <laughs> na kayo humingi ng confidential, ha? Baka matanggal. Sa bawat pagkakataon po na ako'y kasama ninyo, Lalo kong uh, 
lalo ko pong natututu- natututunan ang kahalagahan, ang inyong pagsisikap, at kayo ay makakaasa ng aking suporta at commitment sa inyong mga advocacies at mga projects. Nandun ho lagi ako. At bilang isang broadcaster, patuloy po ako magsisilbi at taga-suporta at tagapagtaguyod ng PAW para po sa katarungan at pagtulong sa mga may hirap. Sa bawat tagumpay na inyong nakakamit at sa bawat sakripisyo na inyong ginagawa, kayo ang mga tunay po na bayani na patuloy na naglilingkod at lumalabang para sa mga nangangailangan. Kayo yata po ang isang ahensya ng pamahalaan na masyadong busy dahil maraming kaso. At sa temang kabalikat at kapangyarihan ng katatagan laban sa kahirapan, tamang-tama ho ito, pinapakita natin ang ating layunin na palawakin pa ang malalapitan ng mga nangangailangan sa katarungan. At sa pamagitan po ng pau ang mga maliliit at walang mga boses at walang kapangyarihan at nabibigyan po ng pagkakataon na ipagtanggol ang kanilang karapatan at makamit ang inahagad na katarungan. Ang inyo pong serbisyo ay nagbibigay ng pag-asa at katarungan sa mga taong walang ibang matatakbuhan at sa bawat kaso na inyong uh, tinatanggap at inyong tinutugunan, kayo po ang mga haligi at kapangyarihan ng katatagan laban kontra sa kahirapan. Ang napapansin ko lang, kumisa na naunahan ako sa paglapit sa bao. <laughs> Pag lumapit ako, Oy! Tinanggap na namin yung uh, kaso nung isa. Kaya naghahanap po kami ng malala- malalapitan. Eh, siyempre, hindi naman ganun kadali kaagad na lumapit, di ba? Uh, para kumuha ng abogado sa mga kaso ho namin na walang abogado, walang pera para pambayad. Uh, talagang wala silang boses. So, sa pamagitan po ng Public Authority Service, tayo po ay nagpapasalamat uh, sa inyo mga dedikasyon at katapatan sa inyo pong tungkulin. Sana wag ho kayo magsasawa, sabi nga nila. Wag ho kayo magsasawa. Kaya wala ho tayong masasabi kundi ang PAO, ang isang ahensya ng pamahalaan na laging nilalapitan ng ating pangkaraniwang mga mamamayan. Kaya sa PAO, mabuhay ang ating uh, pakikipaglaban para sa katarungan. Maraming salamat po. At muli, magandang umaga, bayan ng PAO. Salamat po. Thank you at thank you sa award. Sa, sa, sa muli. Ay, sa muli. Thank you po. Thank you. Maraming salamat, kabayan. And once again, congratulations to our awardee for Outstanding Broadcaster, the former Vice President Manuel Euterio Kabayan Noli de Castro. of applause to our awardees together with our Chief Public Attorney Honorable Dr. Persida Virueda Acosta DSD
May we once again uh, call the POW uh, choir. Mga kapaubayan ng ating pao choir. Acknowledge the arrival of Honorable Imelda Emmy G. Calixto Robiano, Mayor Pasay City. Together with our Chief Public Attorney, Dr. Persida V. Rueda Acosta.
our next our next awardee and guest of honor she is the first woman to be elected as local chief executive of Pasay City prior to her role as mayor she served as three-term representative of Pasay City from 2010 to 2019 Known as Inanang Pasay, or Mother of Pasay, her nurturing approach to serving Pasayenos and her unwavering commitment to excellent public service have had a positive impact on her constituents' lives. As a lawmaker, she introduced numerous bills for the benefit of Pasayenos and the Filipino people. Some of her authored bills that have been signed into law include Republic Act Number no. 11140, declaring December 2 of every year as a special non-working holiday in the city of Pasay to be known as the Foundation Day of Pasay City. And Republic Act 11032, promoting ease of doing business and efficient delivery of government services. Her dedication and achievements in public service have earned her several prestigious awards, including the Hall of Fame recognition at the Golden Globe Annual Awards for Outstanding Filipino Achiever for Outstanding and Significant Achievement in Public in 2021. She was also honored with the Golden Globe Annual Awards for Filipino Achiever for Outstanding and Significant Achievement in Public Service in 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, our awardee as Outstanding Mayor and Guest of Honor, the Honorable Imelda Emmy G. Calixto Rubiano. This Lady Justice statuette and Certificate of Appreciation are given to our awardee in deep appreciation for the invaluable support and contribution made to the success of the Public Attorney's Office and the advancement of the interests of its clientele. Given on the occasion of the 5th National Convention of the Rank and File Employees of the Public Attorney's Office. On October 9 to 11, 2023 at the Philippine International Convention Center, given this day of October in Pasay City, Philippines. Signed by Dr. Persida Virueda Acosta, DSD, Chief Public Attorney. We shall now hear a message from our awardee and guest of honor. Director Francis Sa atin pong Chief Public Attorney Ma'am Persida Rueda Acosta Gayun din po sa ating Deputy Chief Public Attorney Silvestre Mossing And of course another Deputy Chief Public Attorney Ma'am Annalisa Soriano Sa lahat po ng mga regional public attorneys at siyempre, nandito pa rin po ang ating kasama na laging tumutulong ang ating pong kabayan, no, Lide Castro. And si Ms. Sheila, sa inyo pong lahat na andito ngayon, isang magandang magandang umaga po. Gusto ko na rin po kayong welcome sa aming humble home, Pasay City. It is truly an honor to be among such individuals with a shared passion 
for brilliant public service and excellence, excellent governance. In all our endeavors, it is through teamwork and efficient collaboration that we are able to make a positive mark in everyone's lives. I share this statuette with all the public servants who work tirelessly to provide the best for the community, the city, and the country. Like the esteemed public attorney's office that can provide day in and day out. In Pasay City, our tapat at higit pa sa sapat na paglilingkod is not just a description. It is a promise that we keep to our people while maintaining what we have always emphasized. Nakikita nyo, nakakausap nyo, kasama nyo. Together with the public attorney's office, we will continue working hard to be the best while providing the best to our people. At nagpapasalamat po ako sa inyong lahat dahil napakalaking tulong po kayo sa aming mga constituents at sa aming lungsod, lalo na po sa mga less privileged people. Congratulations and once again, thank you, Pao. At kung ano man po ang aming mapaglilingkod pa sa inyo, nakabukas ang aking tanggapan upang sumuporta sa abot ng aking makakayanan. Good luck and God bless us all. Please keep safe. Maraming salamat po, Mayor Imelda Emmy Calixto Rubiano. And congratulations once again to the Inanang Pasay. Our next awardee has a di distinguished career as a television and radio host specializing in news and public affairs. Additionally, he enjoys significant popularity on YouTube and Facebook, boasting more than 1.7 million followers on social media. He has been the host of various popular TV programs, including Kuha All 2022 to Present, Umagang Kay Ganda 2007 to 2020, Parang Partners 2018 to 2019, TNT Tapatani Tunying 2013, and serves as a radio lead anchor for Dos por Dos alongside Jerry Baha. Throughout his career, he has received numerous awards such as the Golden Screen Award in 2013 and 2014 for Outstanding Crime Investigative Program host for Pinoy True Stories and XXX Exclusibong, Exclusibong Expose. He also earned recognition at the PMPC Star Awards, winning Best Morning Show Host multiple times, 2008, 2019, and 2021. Best Male Newscaster in 2011 and 2012, and Public Affairs Program Host from 2016 to 2018. 
In 2019, he was honored with the 27th Golden Dove Award for Best Public Affairs Program for Tapatan Nito Ning. Beyond his career, he takes pride in his role as a husband and best friend to a wonderful lady, as well as being a devoted father to his lovely kids. He also holds the position of President and CEO at A. Taberna Foods Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, our awardee for Outstanding Broadcaster, Mr. Anthony Katunying T. Taberna Jr., Broadcast Journalist, Radio Commentator. This Lady Justice Statuette and Certificate of Appreciation are given to our awardee in deep appreciation for the invaluable support and contribution made to the success of the Public Attorney's Office and the advancement of the interests of its clientele. Given on the occasion of the 5th National Convention of the Rank and File Employees of the Public Attorney's Office on October 9 to 11, 2023 at the Philippine International Convention Center given this day of October in Pasay City, Philippines. Signed by Dr. Persida V. Rueda Acosta, DSD, Chief Public Attorney. Our awardee will now uh, deliver his message. Maganda umaga po sa inyong lahat. Gusto ko lang pong magpasalamat sa Public Attorney's Office, lalo na po kay Chief, kay Chief Persida Acosta. Hindi niyo po na itatanong, uh, baka mukhang dalaga pa po si Chief nung no? kilala na po namin eh. Tagahanga po kami ni Chief. Mula po nung siya po ang naging... Um, at tagapamuno ninyo sa Public Attorney's Office, huwag namang magtatampo yung mga nakaraan, pero nag-level up po, hindi lang po ang, ang integrity, kundi po ang, ang reputasyon ng Public Attorney's Office. Of course, hindi po nag-iisa si uh, Attorney Acosta po doon, kundi kasama po niya ang lahat ng mga public attorneys at siyempre kayo po na nasa siyam na raan pala yung rank and file na naririto. <laughs> hindi po magtatagumpay po itong uh, inyong organization kundi po sa katulad po ninyo na masasabing tunay na haligi po ng, ng institusyon na to. Kaya binabati ko po kayo ng Congratulations po sa inyong lahat. At uh, nagagalak po ako uh, sa pangalan po ng aking uh, kakumbatsyero na si Jerry Baha na kapartner po kami ng uh, Public Attorney's Office sa pagbibigay po ng, ng uh, katarungan sa mga kababayan natin, lalo na po yung, yung pinaka naaapi sa lipunan. Kung wala po ang Public Attorney's Office, Manamang, mas marami pa po ang naaapi sa ngayon. Kaya salamat po sa inyong lahat. Ang ganito pong pagkilala, actually ako po ay uh, humihingi na rin ng dispensa sapagkat ng mga nakaraan na meron po kaming ganitong klase ng pagkilala ay uh, hindi po kami nakarating. Subalit, uh, lagi at lagi, nagpapasalamat po kami na kinikilala po ninyo ang aming nagagawa. Hindi man po sa loob ng husgado, hindi man po sa uh, tinatawag na mga legal fora, doon man lang po sa aming pong uh, programa ni Jerry Baha at sa aming pong mga sariling social media accounts ay naipapalaga na po natin ang, uh, ang pagbibigay po ng katarungan at uh, katwiran sa ating pong lipunan. Salamat po ng marami sa ganito pong uri ng uh, pagkilala at hindi po namin makakalimutan ito araw-araw. Ilalagay, meron na po akong meron na po akong mga ganito sa aking opisina. Alam nyo, ang aking mga anak na dalawang bubae, 
Pagka po nakikita nila uh, ito, ay nababanggit ko po sa kanila na talagang ang Lady Justice ay kung sa pangalan ng GMA7, no? ay walang tinititigan, walang kinikilingan, walang pinoprotektahan. Pahiram lang, hindi po amin yon. Sana po ang Public Attorney's Office ay magpatuloy sa inyo pong mabuting hangarin na magpalaga na po ng pantay-pantay na pagtingin po sa kanino man, sa mayaman o mahirap, basta ang mangingibabaw po ay ang katarungan para po sa lahat. Marami salamat po, mabuhay po kayo. Once again, our awardee for Outstanding Broadcaster, Mr. Anthony Katonying T. Taberna Jr., Broadcast Journalist, Radio Commentator. Our next awardee is an outstanding and award-winning journalist and radio personality who has hosted television and radio programs focusing on news and public affairs. He is notably one of the lead radio anchors for the multi-awarded program Dos por Dos, currently airing on DZRH. Throughout his career, he has received several accolades, including the Public Attorney's Office in 2022, Outstanding Broadcaster Award. He was also recognized at the PMCPC Star Awards in 2012 as the best morning show host and by the People Management Association of the Philippines in 2011 as the best radio program host for Dos por Dos. Aside from his broadcasting career, he is also known as a radio, TV program host, traveler, adventurer, trail biker, and master rider. Ladies and gentlemen, our awardee for Outstanding Broadcaster, Mr. Jerry Baha, TV, radio anchor, and commentator. This Lady Justice Statuette and Certificate of Appreciation are given to our awardee in deep appreciation for the invaluable support and contribution made to the success of the Public Attorney's Office and the advancement of the interests of its clientele. Given on the occasion of the 5th National Convention of the Rank and File Employees of the Public Attorney's Office on October 9 to 11, 2023, at the Philippine International Convention Center, given this day of October in Pasay City, Philippines. Signed by Dr. Persida V. Rueda Acosta, DSD, Chief Public Attorney. Hi, hi, hi. Magandang morning. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat lalong-lalo na sa mga bumubuo ng Public Attorney's Office. Sa katotohanan po ay mula nang mula nang mula yata nang maging tao kami ni Kumbatsero, eh, na, ang namulatan na namin si Attorney Persida Acosta na. At ang laki na ng itinaas, iniangat ng quality, ng kalidad ng paglilingkod sa bayan, public service, ng Public Attorney's Office, Kaya sa katotohanan, hindi kami dapat yung parangalan. Ang Public Attorney's Office, sa ilalim ng pangasiwa ni Attorney Presida Acosta, ang lahat ng mga tagapagtanggol ng bayan, at siyempre ang mga rank and files employees ng Public Attorney's Office. Halos isang libo pala tayo ngayon dito, hindi po magagawa ng uh, mga tagapagtanggol ng bayan ang pagtulong o totoong paglilingkod sa mga mahihirap kung wala po kayo. Kung wala ang rank and file employees. Kayo po ang uh, nagsisilbing support group o support system ng ating mga tagapagtanggol para maisakatuparan nila yung tunay na paglilingkod sa bayan. Yung bang sa panahong ngayon, 
Misan nga ay napagkukwentuhan namin ni Kumbachero na ang mga may hirap eh parang hindi naman sa hindi naman takot ng gumawa ng krimen kundi hindi na sila nag-aalala na sila ay maaapi kapag ang uh, pagtitingnan o pag-uusapan eh administration of justice dahil nandyan ang uh, public attorney's office na handang mag, uh, magtanggol sa kanila lalo na doon sa mga may hirap at kababayan nating hindi naman talaga nakagawa ng anumang krimen. Kaya sa ating mga rank and file employees ng, uh, ng public attorney's office, kay attorney Persida Acosta, na napakalaki, napakataas na ng pagkilala po namin. At uh, masasabi ko na sa mga ahensya ng gobyerno, mga public officials, ay si attorney Persida Acosta at ang public attorney's office ang ma ma matutukoy nating tunay tunay na ang puso ay sa paglilingkod sa bayan. Marami pong salamat Public Attorney's Office, rank and file employees ng Public Attorney's Office. Salamat po. Once again, our awardee for outstanding broadcaster, Mr. Jerry Baha, TV, radio, anchor and commentator.